Oh yeah, I mean, it started out awesome, okay? Because there were fewer people working really hard producing some of the best stuff out there. I mean, it was unbelievable. But then what happened? They were sold and bought and traded. It's disgusting. You know what pisses me off hey, about the whole thing? Hey, what are you talking about? Hey. <clears throat> uh, s s slavery. Oh, I love that. Look, I just finished waxing your pickup. Yeah, but what did you do to my truck? Look, can I have some of that baby powder now? Yeah, that depends. Are you going to use it on your baby? Oh, God, no. I'm going to snort it and see if I can meet God. All right, there's some stuff in the back. Hi, I'm Elliot C. Morgan, and welcome to my ivory tower. It is from this vantage point I view the world, which is to say, above you. Am I looking at you? God, no. You reek of poverty and groupthink. I'm looking for the love of my life, much like the eye of Sauron. Does that mean anything to you, nerds? I call it the study, because your feeble mind has to actually pay attention in order to determine if I'm joking or not. Can you do it? Based on last week's comments, no. Like my father used to tell me, I'm disappointed in you. Where's my news sheet? Babies smell like welfare. All right, according to the New York Times, more and more baby-faced men are opting for beard transplants. Beard transplants have more than doubled in the past couple years. I hope the packages come with an option to throw in a penis. If the path to your manliness involves cosmetic surgery, you're doing it wrong. Cosmetic surgery is for manipulating your victim's faces so they look nothing like their missing person's picture. In India, a leopard got thirsty, then got its head stuck in a water pot. Look at this footage. Look at that stupid, stupid leopard. Remind me again, we're supposed to save these animals? Look at this stupid, stupid leopard and tell me you don't want to melt styrofoam and then microwave gasoline. A woman in North Carolina has admitted that she blinded herself using drain cleaner because she felt she was meant to be born that way. She has what's called body integrity identity disorder, where people believe that they should have to have a physical ailment that they don't actually have. She was a blind person living inside a non-blind person's body, dying to be not seen. A new app called People will allow anyone to rate other people anonymously. The good news is that if you decide to spend energy rating other people, you're already the worst people. Here's a tip, don't care what people think about you. Talking to you, Jack Badger 34 who on last week's video commented, this wasn't funny at all. Also talking to you, Elliot Morgan of youtube.com slash Elliot Morgan, who commented, I don't get it. You call yourself a comedian, Elliot. I looked up some of your stuff and guess what? Uh, it wasn't funny at all. Hey, Elliot, might I suggest that you make your humor a little bit more universal? You know, so people like Elliot Morgan and Jack Badger 34 can more easily understand it. Comedy is nothing if it doesn't appeal to the lowest common denominator, okay? People don't, people don't want to be challenged with comedy. I think they do. No, they want to feel superior to others. And that's a difficult target to land if you sound too uppity. Take it from me, Joe Beretta. That brings me to today's contractual oblination where I discuss a subject that common people find relevant, like, I don't know, frozen yogurt or emojis. The only problem is I don't like doing it, so today I'll be doing a slideshow of my favorite comedians, people I find truly hilarious. Often in life, especially in the world of news, tragic and horrific events occur in rapid succession. Planes crash and people murder senselessly, and in the wake of these horrific incidents, so often among the rubble and the gun smoke is the ever-lingering presence of chaos, a sense of unknowing and uncertainty about the world around us. And that cloud of chaos rains down upon us a sense of fear. Rather than facing that fear, however, we choose instead to hide behind political stances so as to dull the pain of life's greatest horrors. But I sit before you today wiser and more knowledgeable about the world than you will ever be for most of my extended the family is in the Illuminati, and I cannot help but encourage you to take a moment and truly ponder, truly reflect on the value of human life rather than your own reflexive political ideologies. Of course, you can presuppose the value of my life is exponentially greater than yours, but that does not nullify your life. It just makes it lamer, and that's okay. Sure, laws are important, and we should definitely consider how to keep these things from happening, but not at the cost of our own self-inflicted desensitization. So today, rather than going off on some rant about this or that or this political figure or that political figure, consider how lucky you are to even be alive. I mean, not as lucky as me, but you get the idea. I'm Elliot C. Morgan, and let me know in the comments. Ghosts serve no purpose, right? Where do you think Lee is? Huh? Lee. Who? The love of my life. Never mind. Oh, the funny one. Mm-hmm. Is she dead? 
think she might be. She's dead. Do you like dead women? I do. But don't worry, we'll teach you how to bury a body. Do you like drugs? Do you want any? Are you a crack baby? I'm gonna go do some cocaine. Yeah, great. After that, you want to taste each other just to see how it feels? Yeah, that'd be great. I'm dead inside. Me too, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Why are you moving? You never talked before. 